The lower hatch segment crowded, big, and very confusing. It's tough to make a decision in this segment. The obvious choice is a Maruti and then a Hyundai. But after that, there's a relatively new entry here, the Tata Bolt. The Solero and Grand i10 have been around for a reasonable amount of time now. The Solero is a smart looking hatch from Maruti with chrome grille, sharp eyes and bumper with fog lamps in the top variant. The Grand i10 on the other hand follows the design philosophy of Hyundai and is definitely better looking than the Celerio at least. And then comes the Bolt. Well on the looks, the Bolt can be easily recognizable as it looks like a more sophisticated version of the Indica. Tata has tried to make an impression here with the smoked headlamps and the new grille. However, the side profile is much like the Indica and the rear profile except for the lamps is hugely alike. So amongst the three, the Grand i10 is the better looking one for sure, even though the rear is a bit odd. Now the interiors of the Bolt are inspired from the Zest. All black interiors is a good break from the usual beige and black interior of the Grand i10 and the beige and grey of the Celerio. The plastic used and the fit and finish of the Bolt is good too. It now seems at par with competition, unlike the previous Tata products. The top variants of all the cars get a music system with USB, Auxane, radio and Bluetooth. And the top variants get steering controls for stereo and Bluetooth telephone. A CD player, however, is still missing here. All three get 12 watt charging units in the front. The Bolt gets a touchscreen unit which neither the Celerio nor the Grand i10 get. The Bolt is also the only car to offer climate control. However, on the practicality front, the Bolt falls short. The Bolt gets only one cup holder in the front and none at the back. It does get a tray under the seat for bottles or laptop. The Grand i10, like a typical Hyundai, is very high on practicality. There are cup holders for passengers, bottle holders in each door and lots of storage for other small things. The Celerio is good on practicality too. There are cup holders and bottle holders and decent space for other knickknacks. The Hyundai Grand i10 also gets a push-button start, cooled glove box and rear AC vents. The rear seat of the Bolt provides the maximum passenger space for three, with the Grand coming a close second and the Celerio behind by miles. Now comes the key question, which is the better one to drive? The Bolt gets the famous 1.2 litre petrol unit, the Celerio gets a 1 litre K-series engine and the Grand i10 a 1.2 litre unit. All three units are very different and as the capacity already says, the Bolt is the most fun one. The Bolt is quick, peppy and is quite sporty to drive. Keep the engine spinning and it outperforms the Grand and Celerio easily. The Grand i10 is calm while the Celerio is the slower one here. City traffic manoeuvring is easiest in the Celerio thanks to its light steering. The Grand comes a close second for the quick cuts and corners and the Bolt loses out majorly because of its poor visibility and a blind spot thanks to its A-pillar. Around corners, the Bolt however scores higher than the competition. But this is simply because of its confidence at higher speeds. The Grand steering gets a bit wobbly at higher speeds and is not very precise and needs continuous inputs. The Celerio shows less confidence at high speeds, especially because of its weak build quality.
So in the end, we say that the choice is quite tough. The Grand is high on features and practicality, the Bolt is the one you will enjoy driving of the three and the Celerio being a typical Maruti is a safe choice. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for other reviews and updates.